Hello, my name is Kern, and I post the HomeRecordingWeekly.com website. If you are watching this video on YouTube or maybe on Facebook, just know that this is a companion piece to a complete review that you can find on HomeRecordingWeekly.com. Once you're there, please find the review category and look for the Mastering Now review video. Today's review is Mastering Now from MusicCourses.com. Mastering Now ships as 18 downloadable videos for your computer. They break down into two different types. First types are basically explanation videos, the tools of the trade. The second type are complete mastering videos, complete mastering sessions, where you actually get three separate videos that are one hour in length, and they are mastering sessions from start to finish. The first type of video, there's 15 total, take us from what to expect as a mastering engineer, uh, what clients will send to you, what you need to start your mastering projects like headroom, file types, I mean you name it, it's very, very thorough. The guy that makes these videos is a mastering engineer himself. And then the uh, videos kind of break down into tools of the trade, where you have videos that cover how you will use EQs in mastering sessions most of the time. He goes into great length to show you different types of EQs, some of the most common plug-in EQs, some EQs that he likes and recommends. Very, very in-depth, each one of these. There's a wonderful video on compression, different compressors that he likes, why he likes them, how he likes to use them, and keep in mind the whole time he's going through like how you should place them in your mastering sessions. And There's a great video on multi-band compression. If you think you know everything about multi-band compression, I'll bet you're wrong. Nicholas from Zeitgeist Mastering certainly shows you everything that he knows and then he goes through many examples uh, of using multi-band compression. You know, mastering is an art form, and there's no one way to do everything. And he explains a lot of that as he goes, and why you would want to put, you know, certain tools in, in different uh, in different places. And then it's on to stereo enhancement. This is something I find interesting. Um, what should be mono? What should be stereo? How to widen it? Awesome, awesome video. Maximizing and limiting. As you know, there will be a lot of limiting, raising of gain. Uh, it's kind of reverse, I know, but limiting is setting a limit and then raising the gain so that it does not go over it. Maximizing was, was a great video, great video. And then, you know, Dithering, the hero that runs in the background that no one even likes to talk about. He explains what it does, where he likes to put Dithering, and, and uh, different types of Dithering. Believe it or not, it was a very interesting video, and I thank Nicholas for making a Dithering video interesting.
Believe it or not, Reverb was uh, one of the videos. I didn't know that Reverb is used in mastering, but again, Nicholas knocks it out of the park. He talks about different Reverb plugs he uses, why he uses them, and how he uses them. And then at the end, he actually uses those in the uh, in one of the videos, maybe more, but definitely I remember it being used in one. The next video is Max Bass and Low Frequency Punch. These are two plugins that he uses, almost like exciters, to uh, to put air in the low end and to get uh, the subs working. Really interesting, really great video. I'm glad it was included. I'll be doing it and using those tools to do it. Next is Harmonic Excitement. How he likes to use different harmonic exciters to make the, the low and the high end sound, and even the mids, uh, to punch through a little bit better. The next video, tape saturation and analog warmth. Again, the, the plugins are listed for you, the ones he prefers, the ones he likes to use, but he goes through a lot of the most common uh, analog, uh, I'm sorry, digital tape saturation analog warmth plugins that are out there. Putting theory into practice, that's the name of the next three videos, uh, each of which are about an hour or so in length. The first one is an electronica song, pretty much without words, and he masters it using mostly Waves plugins. The second one is also an electronic sort of song, but he masters that using Isotope Ozone 5. The next one is a rock and pop song, and he mixes it with all different types of his favorite plugins. And again, when he's doing this stuff, he does everything a couple of different ways just so that you understand everything uh, and get a great working knowledge of it all. The whole review is over at homerecordingweekly.com. I found this series of videos amazing, and I'll tell you why. It's like you're sitting beside an actual mastering engineer who is talking or thinking out loud as he makes all of his adjustments and you follow along with them. You're constantly learning new things, things that you won't find in any other training videos. A lot of what you can expect as a mastering engineer, those things are what sell this whole video. Uh, it's kind of like a behind the scenes look at running your own business. Uh, and then you get a ton of plug-in mini lessons. Like, I am so confident now with Isotopes Ozone 5, whereas before, I mean, I knew how to open it and run it to do a few things, but now I'm so confident that I can master with it. Each time he opens a new plug-in, he gives you a great workout and uh, lesson and tips, uh, and even automation, things like that. It was really, really, really worth the price. And uh, I don't want to leave out that you get three one-hour-long mastering sessions from start to finish. I'm going to do all my own mastering from here on out. I was doing it before, but now i got to go back and remaster all my songs. That's how much I learned from watching these um, videos. They're fantastic. I learned a ton. I can't tell you enough that you should uh, follow the links over at homerecordingweekly.com, click on the review category, skim down to you see Mastering Now for Music Courses Online. All the links are in there. Just click on the image and it'll take you over for price and information. You know, thank you for stopping by Home Recording Weekly. My name is Kern. Today's review is Mastering Now from musiccourses.com.